Free selection coming up in just a moment on the Miami-San Diego contest. But first, let's talk about a handicapper who has a big, big play for him going today. In fact, Chris Jordan, who is the winningest baseball handicapper here at the site, dating back to 2009, making a $1 better in that stretch, $8,607. And... The winning is handicapper at this site period, dating back to 2007, making that same one dollar better over 13 grand in all sports combined. Well, normally a 1,000 star play is his top rated selection, but today he's got his one and only double your wager game of the year, an ultra rare 2,000 star play. How rare is it? Well, guys, this is his biggest baseball play in five years. It's a run line release. He says it's a four run blowout winner, and it goes on the nighttime card. So that's a play you shouldn't miss today for Chris Jordan. Once again, biggest major league play in five years, 2000 star play, and it goes on the nighttime card from Chris Jordan. Hey, FYI, if you happen to be watching this video recording, Chris Jordan isn't at the site that you're watching this video. Just contact customer service and they'll point you in the right direction and tell you where to find him. Uh, here's a coupon you could use on Chris Jordan. You can use it on anything you want. It's really up to you. A uh, one-time usage coupon, good today only. Save $25 off a single purchase of a handicapper's picks or their package or anything else here at the site simply by using this coupon code 25OFF. 25OFF. Uh, congratulations to Scott Delaney coming off a Sunday winner. Uh, $10 better is now up $7,412 uh, the past uh, six and a half months or so uh, from Scott Delaney. Actually, 213 days. I love these guys that put down the days on the site. 213 days. Well, Jesus Christ, what does that mean? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Why not say over the past seven months? Why not say going back to the beginning of January? Why put down 213 days? Do you think I can get these guys to do the way I want them to? Of course not. Anyway, and of course, that's my pal, Scott Delaney. Scott Delaney, uh, $10 better is up $7,412 the past 213 days. He has a 20-dime play uh, going here tonight. Uh, as for me, 10-dime winner number 7 out of 10, my second largest play after cashing with Baltimore. Boy. Talk about having a near heart attack in the ninth inning last night when uh, Jim Johnson came on the hill. But Orioles uh, closer got the uh, outs as necessary and uh, picked up the winner for that one as well. Now, that's some of the good. Let's talk about some of the bad. Anthony Red, uh, you know, after last Wednesday and Thursday hitting those back-to-back -back five dime play of the day releases where he went four and two overall, two and one with 60 dimers, two and one with 40 dimers. Ugh. He started, went through an 0 oh and three weekend. I mean, $10 betters are still up $2,400 plus over the past three and a half weeks, but, you know, 0-3 is 0-3. Another guy who has not been hot at all has been Craig Davis, who for pretty much a seven- to eight-month run in all sports had just been great here at the site and great in the NBA playoffs. He has hit the skids big time here in the past two weeks. I know it's funny to talk about losers, especially if you're a guy that's coming to the video for the first time, but listen, I, as I always tell you, you know, if I can talk about guys that are winning, I feel it's only fair and it's necessary to talk about guys that are losing. Because the one thing that I made clear to everybody at this site and anybody affiliated with it, when I established these sites and really brought what was then the 900 telephone business over to the internet 10, 11 years ago, is that without integrity, we have nothing. So what you see is what you get. And if we talk about the winners, we got to talk about the losers. And that's the bottom line. Anybody that doesn't like that philosophy, well, they haven't lasted too long on this site because they won't let them stay. Okay, guys, let's get to your uh, free selection today. Um, break up the Marlins. I mean, seriously, what's going on in Miami? I mean, this is a team that <laughs> uh, I, I'd say I had offended the Marlins fans, but are there any out there? Seriously? Uh, you know, a Marlins team that went 14 and 41 combined in April and May went 15 and 10, 10 in June, thanks in large part to timely hitting from a bunch of no names in the lineup and some excellent pitching. And 
without a doubt, their most consistent pitcher this season has been the rookie, Jose Fernandez. I think he's a 20-year-old hurler. Uh, this right-hander has a 2.98 ERA on the season. In five June starts, he went 2-1 and one with a 1.67 ERA, and the Marlins have won five of his seven home starts this season. Now, tonight, Miami's laying about $1.30 against San Diego. The Padres, after a hot run where they reeled off seven straight wins, have hit the skids. They've lost six of their last eight games. Over the weekend, they lost 7-1, 6-2 in the last two games of the series. After taking the opener on Friday night, this is one of those rare four-game series that gets extended through a Monday play playing date. You know, Marlins have won five of their last six overall. They've scored 29 runs in the five wins. Uh, Jason Marquis had been pitching lights out for San Diego. I mean, the Padres had won uh, five straight and 10 of his last 11 starts before his most recent outing uh, where he really struggled. I mean, you know, yeah, it was his first, true, his first loss in 12 games, but uh, and he had won eight straight decisions. But against the Phillies last Tuesday, he was not sharp, giving up six runs in four and a third innings. And the other alarming fact is he walked five batters in that particular start. So in his last four starts, he's pitched a total of 24 and two-third innings, but he's really, again, exhibited some control problems because in those 24-plus innings, he's walked 15 batters. Now, Marquis uh, already beat... The, uh, the Marlins earlier this season, eight innings of shutout ball and a one nothing win at home back in early May. But I'm going to go with the Marlins because they were hitting the ball. And Fernandez, as I learned myself, a bitter lesson earlier this season, going against them a couple of times at home, he's pitched extremely well. And the Marlins are certainly playing with confidence at the dramatic win on Sunday. So, again, the Marlins are going to be your free pick for your Monday card. The other game I thought about going with, Tampa Bay on the run line uh, at Houston. But, you know, even the Rays, even though they are playing some good ball here and the Astros are certainly not, it's not like the Rays have been putting a bunch of runs on the board here, okay? <laughs> and if you're going to play a team on the run line, damn it, you definitely want them to be scoring some runs. So that and considering the fact that Matt Moore has the, uh, you know, we're talking about control problems. I mean, this guy is walking nearly five batters per nine innings pitch, the worst figure in the entire American League. He had six of them in five-some innings against Toronto in his win last Tuesday against the Blue Jays. So um, I just don't feel that confident laying the one-and-a-half with Tampa Bay. So anyway, I'm going to go with the Miami Marlins. That's going to be your free pick. Best of luck to you guys, and I will catch you again on Tuesday.